first told you about a billboard that came crashing down onto a family's home on Tuesday along Kirby Road in Cabell County. Now, thankfully, no one was hurt, but tonight that family is speaking out about that alarming incident. News Channel 3's Kimberly Kagi began digging to find out what, if any, safeguards are in place to keep your family out of harm's way. WSAZ investigates billboard safety. Insulation, flooring, and remnants of a home ripped apart. On Tuesday, the strength of the storms brought down a massive billboard, part of it slicing off a portion of Sean Kruver's home. The images of the aftermath look like something out of a movie. It's a scene Sean says the day after is still surreal. That would be the lid to the most important thing that was in that closet, and that would be all of our memories, our birth certificates, marriage license, um, all the kids' memories, all their artwork, everything. Groover says luckily his wife and five children were not home at the time, so no one was hurt. But the incident has uprooted their whole world. Total and utter shock. The billboard that hit the Groover's home, not the only one to come down Tuesday in the storms. This one came crashing down onto a car along Route 25 in Dunbar. Luckily, no one was hurt there either. So I started digging into regulations to find out just how often these structures are inspected and what safeguards are in place to protect people. Here's what I found. West Virginia state law requires outdoor advertisement companies get a permit from the Department of Transportation. So I called the owner of Hicks Outdoor Advertising, the company that owns the billboard along Kirby Road. Greg Hicks says the company obtained a permit from the Department of Transportation. I checked with the DOT and they confirm Hicks obtained a permit for that billboard in 1977. But tell me, inspections fall on the responsibility of the owner and the owners not required to submit any inspection reports to the DOT. So I called the owner, Greg Hicks, to ask some questions. Do you know the last time that billboard was inspected? Mm, don't, don't know the exact last time. We, we do inspections. Every time our crews go on one, they, they do visual inspections. And then we, we have a company that we use uh, every so many years to do thorough, more detailed inspections. And um, I would have to go back and see when the time, when last time that one was actually done. Hicks did check his records and says Cruz performed a visual inspection in July 2023. And the billboard was due for another inspection in the next few months. But Hicks says even if that upcoming inspection had happened, he isn't sure it would have caught the issue. The pipe itself actually snapped. All the all the normal fail points on one uh, were fine, but this was an actual pipe failure, and so it could have been it could have easily been just too much wind, or could have been a microscopic crack, or you know who knows what actually caused it. But yeah, it failed where one you wouldn't think typically would fail. I asked the Department of Transportation if after what could have been two deadly incidents in Ona and Dunbar, if they believe billboard owners should have to submit inspection records going forward to ensure safety. I have not heard back from the agency. Delegate Daniel Linville represents the area where the Ona billboard came down. So WSAZ asked him about inspection accountability. And he says a couple of potential solutions could be changing state code or simply working with the DOT to add some type of acknowledgement on the permit form requiring inspections to be submitted to the state. Back in Ona, Kruver says he's just thankful his family is okay and he's focused on getting them into a new home. Honestly, we need community support. Due to the extensive damage, the family isn't able to stay here. And many of people reached out asking how they can help. A fundraiser has been set up to help the family get back on their feet. Kimberly Keggy, WSAZ News Channel 3, Ona. And we have the information where you can donate to that fundraiser. You can find it on WSAZ.com. Crews from the billboard company are expected to be in the area tomorrow to remove the debris. 
We know that so many families rely on Kirby Road as it's one way in, one way out. Delegate Daniel Linville says that he has started a conversation with the Department of Transportation about putting in an access road.